a beautiful day to beat the sun up. Rise and grind and greet your day. Put something new in that coffee cup. Live your life the 6S way. Stay safe, stay sane, stay sexy. Try that new morning routine. And follow your curiosity with RK. It's too early for that note. Good morning, everybody. It is, what is it today? Thursday? Oh my God, it's Thursday already. It is Thursday. Hold up. I need to adjust my chair. I'm all over the place. Um, but we are going to have a great day today trying out some new things on Amazon and seeing how they work. Um, so first of all, RK is uh, going to be here and like, he's going to take about 20 minutes to be here today. So around the time we say hi to everyone, I guess. Uh, if people, I know people have been wondering why he's like not here at the beginning a lot lately. It's because one, it's like he's works in finance. And so it's like very busy season for stuff. And so he has to keep taking meetings. And the second reason being that um, the world is kind of crazy right now. And while the world is crazy, that makes the stock markets go crazy. So again, he has to take a million meetings for everything. But um, hopefully that means that, that things will calm down soon. Maybe hopefully after like tax season or so is my, my hope. Also, fun fact, I've got my 90s kids mug this morning. I love this mug because it's like this side has the title and this side has the characters. I love this mug so much. I'm going to promote it real quick. Because why not? This show is not sponsored, so I might as well, I might as well advertise my own stuff on it. This mug is now available on SavvyRightsBooks.com, which I have just linked in the chat. Woohoo! There it is. Um, boop boop boo doo doo. We go to the store. I can't wait until we could replenish the cancel Sean Boston signed copies. My guess is September for that. I know it's a long time, but they're a, they're a unique item. Uh, this is the mug I'm drinking out of this. Guys, we've got the 90s kids merch right here. We've also got the YouTube merch and the Your Morning Guru merch. I love my website. I am sponsored by the builder I used for my website, but not for this show, for my main channel. So I love that. I love that. Uh, but this is the mug. Look at this. It's got this uh, title on one side, characters on the other side. I just, I love drinking out this mug. It makes me so happy. Uh, so that's the mug merch that's available uh, right now, among other things. I, oh, I should have, I was wearing the t-shirt the other day. I should have wore the t-shirt again. Um, but yeah, anyway, we've got, we've got fun merch. I'm going to work on adding more Your Morning Guru merch. A few people have suggested that we put the water weed and weights design on a water bottle. Um, so I'm probably going to do that next. So more fun stuff is coming. Today's focus is going to be kind of continuing what we started yesterday, which was, so we're, again, for context, if today's your first day on the, on the show this week, this week we are following Chris Fox. Chris Fox is kind of a writing and publishing guru, but so far we have found him to be honest and genuine and not to be a scammer. So we like him so far. I'm going to continue reading his books this week. Um, yesterday at the doctor, I, I went to the doctor yesterday for a checkup and I got cleared that I can start walking Chewy by myself. I can start doing that. I got most of my stitches out. There's still a few that need to heal a little more that I'll probably get out at the next appointment. So I got some stitches out and I asked about walking Chewy and he said that, yeah, uh, I can start taking him on walks by myself. So, uh, what's the weather today? Oh, it's cold. It's cold today. I was hoping it wouldn't be cold, uh, because then I would take Chewy on really long walks and listen to audiobooks. but I guess that we'll have to do short walks. Anyway, I can walk Chewy again. So I now can like go back to listening to audiobooks on walks with Chewy and we can listen to, we're going to listen to, we're going to finish Six Figure Author and then we are going to finish Launch to Market, which are the two Chris Fox books I'm reading right now. And then guys, if you're participating in our book club, don't forget that uh, final week of March. So next week we're going to follow, we're going to do a 75 hard. We're going to go back to Andy Frizzella and the 75 hard because 
it will have been 75 days since we started it at the in the first week of the year. Uh, so for those who were participating in it, I think Butcher Del Rey is probably the only person in our chat who actually completed it. Um, but I mean, we can see if you're watching right now, Butcher, we would love to have you back on. Um, if not, um, also, we'll talk about wrapping it up, what we learned, what we did that worked for us, what didn't work. I mean, I did not complete it successfully, as you guys know, as I've been a lot more tired in surgery recovery than I expected. So I've been kind of falling asleep early. I haven't been getting all the steps in each day that I want to, things like that. Yesterday, I did get cleared to use four pound weights. I can, I can use four pound weights. And so I was like, okay, me thinking like, okay, but like, when can I lift my 150 pound weights again? But no, uh, I can use four pound weights starting this week. And then it'll still be a little while before I can lift the kind of stuff I was lifting before. But, um, so yeah, so we're going to talk about all of that. Um, what worked, what didn't, what our conclusions were from the challenge, um, all of that kind of stuff. That'll be next week. And then the week after that will be our book club week, and we will be studying Brene Brown that week. Uh, Brene Brown, I have seen from posting on my community tab on YouTube, has a wildly mixed response. There are people who say she absolutely saved their mental health, that their therapist recommends her, that her work is phenomenal. There are other people that say that they think she's completely overrated, that her fandom is a little bit too too strong, like so many different views on her. And so I'm really excited to see what different people think. I think it'll be fun because I think that she's going to be someone that I can both critique and learn from at the same time. And I think that those are the most interesting weeks. Those are the weeks with the most, uh, I guess, the most well-rounded approach, which I really like. Um, so we are reading, our book club book is I Thought It Was Just Me But It Isn't by Brene Brown. So if you want to keep on reading that, uh, we will discuss that on Friday the 25th. That will be the day that you guys are welcome to come on stream with us and share your thoughts about the book. Uh, you can come on camera or just on audio, whatever you want. But if you'd like to participate in that, that is the book that we're reading. In addition, I think I'm probably, if I have time, I'm also, because I'm listening to these on Audible, so I can do them in the bathtub. I can do them on my dog walks. So if I have time, I'm also going to listen to Atlas of the Heart because people suggested that one to me as one I might like about how to break down different emotions. And I think that's interesting because one of the things I talked about that was a little alienating while I've been listening to, I'm, I thought it was just me, but it isn't, is that I don't really feel the emotions of sh uh, shame or embarrassment. Like I don't feel them, which is weird. It's very weird because I didn't realize how much, how other people felt them. And so one of the things I'm trying to take away from this book, I thought it was just me, but it isn't. One of the things I'm trying to take away from it is how to understand the emotions that other people feel, even though I don't necessarily feel them. And it's all along the journey of trying to become a more empathetic human, right? I want to understand why, how and why other people feel certain things, even if I don't feel those same things. So that's what I'm trying to use it for, is to learn how to better identify and understand other people's emotions. Um, but it took me a long time to realize that when people talked about embarrassment, they were talking about a negative emotion. Because I always thought it was like, oh, you got yourself into a, a situation where you look kind of dumb. And now, you, but like, people laugh about it in retrospect, but I, I like instantly laugh about it. So it's like, oh, you fell down in front of people. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. I mostly just feel physical pain from that. I, I, it doesn't cross my mind that I'm supposed to feel a negative emotion about that or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. People have brought up that it could, could be neurodivergence or something, which it probably is. Um, so, and then she talks about the difference of shame. And I realized that I also, I very rarely feel shame. Almost never. It just doesn't cross my mind to feel it. And I know that it's not like people are intentionally feeling these things. It's like, I just don't, like the feelings she's talking about are foreign to me. Which makes me feel weird, like, am I I'm being a human wrong? But no, I realize that everybody feels things differently, everybody has different experiences, and so I'm using this as a way to understand how other people feel. Um, so that is going to be our book club book for um, this month. Discussion will be on March 25th. And uh, with all that in mind, I'm going to start saying hello to everyone, and then we will get into our main topic of today, which is using Chris Fox's advice 
to continue working on trying to recategorize cancel Sean Boston on Amazon and seeing what ways we can use Amazon's data to find to seek out our target audiences and increase our sales. That is the goal. Uh, I made us this morning, I made us a new Amazon account. This is the Your Morning Guru Amazon account. It, nothing has ever been bought on it before. So this is like, this is the default of Amazon. I don't know why it says keep shopping for, I never shopped for any of these books and I never, certainly never shopped for Tony Robbins's book. And this is a brand new account. So I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's like this. Maybe because I'm using the same browser that I used on the Savvy account. I don't know. But a lot of these things I've never seen before. So I don't know. I thought that this would just be like a completely different. This is a completely different account. This is the Your Morning Guru account. So, man, I don't know. I don't know. My orders. Does it? Oh, do I need to sign back in with the password? Some fun keyboard ASMR for you this morning. Okay. So, no, this is a totally new account. I'm really not sure. I don't know, guys. I don't know why it's like saying you viewed these items. I've never viewed any items on this before, but it's got Atomic Habits and Brene Brown. I don't know, dude. Maybe it's because I'm using the same browser, but that's a little weird. Anyway, let's say hello to everyone and then we will figure out how Amazon works. Okay. Good morning, Kayla. Good to see you. Good morning, Cher. Cher says, just finished inventing Anna. My take is that Anna is an awful person and should have got all 12 years. Yeah, she's a big scammer. Maybe we should do a week on her. I don't know, because we did a week on scammers in general, where we talked about like Elizabeth Holmes and uh, Jordan Belfort and a bunch of people. Uh, cause we, but like, I'm need to finish watching the documentary or not documentary. The, the, it's a fictionalized, the fictionalized Netflix series and reading this book. Uh, about her and then I'm gonna do a video on my main channel about it but I'm I'm excited to talk about it good morning Jennifer good morning starry night good morning Lisa B Lisa B beat the sun up today nice hopefully has daylight savings time happened yet or is that this weekend because after that I imagine I will maybe beat the sun up hello Jen I couldn't tune in yesterday but I had you on the tv for my dogs to watch their big fans that's so cute oh my god I love that people's dogs are fans of us good morning Cena good morning Brenda good morning Kayla good morning Nuka Sherry good morning Shelby good morning Lisa good morning Liz good morning Zeebs good morning cool gamer good morning Melody Shelby says my brain has decided today's a stress day I'm so sorry I hope you become less stressed I get it I have a lot of work to get done today because after this stream is over I have to return to uh editing my big video that's coming out tomorrow which is guys get ready for this everyone's been waiting for this blah, 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 blah. it is the secret power of femininity review the book mentioned in Lula Rich, The Secret Power of Femininity, written by Lula Roe Lula Ro Diane's mom, Maureen. So we are going to be reviewing that book, the book from the 1960s about how to manipulate men with your body to get them to do whatever you want. And by do whatever you want, it means marry you and give you their whole salary, basically. It's a book for uh, female pickup artists, gold diggers, and um, sexist men. It's just like marriage is very transactional in this book. There's it talks about it like there's love, but I see no love in this book. It's very sad. So we will uh, we will talk about that uh, tomorrow. I, the the review is going to be I got it under two hours. It was like two and a half hours when I when I unedited. So I've got it under two hours, but it's probably going to be an hour and a half long or so. So it's going to be a big one, and it's only part one. I wanted to do the whole book in one review, but after I'd been filming for like three hours <laughs> and I was yelling about how angry I was that this book was like, women, men are attracted to your most childlike qualities. So act as young as possible. After I was yelling about that kind of shit, I was like, okay, I can't take it anymore. My soul has left my body. So I need to, uh, maybe for next week, I will record part two. Or maybe for the week after. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I might need to do more resting next week because I underestimated how tired I was going to be. So anyway, that's what I'm working on today. Spinster Punk says, hump day greetings, everyone. Halfway through my huge clutter clean out. I'm beating up all the sun. Nice clutter clean out. Love to see it. I need to do that on my closet now that I can get rid of 
some of my big titty clothes. <laughs> and now I can get clothes that are more stylish and proportional to my body. Um, good morning to Joe. Good to see you. My dad's in the chat. What's up, dad? Love to see you, dad. And so is my mom. Both my parents are in the chat. Love to see families in the chat. It's awesome. Good morning, Kat. Love to see you. Good morning, Avery Joe. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Clary T. Good morning, Paige the Puppet. Uh, yeah, Kayla, me too. Ta so Kayla says taxes are giving me a heart attack. I need to uh, finish up my tax stuff. That's what I need to do. Um, Zeeb says, I finally got an accountant. Yes, getting an accountant will save your life. Um, let's see. Crow loves core. What's up? Hello, Kate. Um, Cena has a mug with owls. That's nice. I love that. Um, Good morning. Go Fohawk yourself. What's up? What were we saying? You handsome son of a gun. What's up, you handsome son of a gun? Um, good morning, not a gazebo. This is great. Not a gazebo says yesterday I was offered an unexpected promotion to a permanent position with a hefty pay increase. I'm a very lucky gazebo. First of all, I thought you were not a gazebo. Second, second of all, congratulations on your promotion. That's so exciting. Oh my God. Uh, I don't even know where you can find four pound weights, Kayla. Um, the, I have, so the weights I have out, like for dumbbells, I have eight pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds are what I have. Not allowed to use those. However, from a long time ago, back when I was weak and my arms looked like spaghetti noodles, I had some weights that were three pounds. The little tiny three pound dumbbells. You can get those pretty easily. So uh, I, I think I ordered them online or something. RK has these Bowflex adjustable weights that I probably should get something like that where you can adjust them from very small amounts up to like 50 pounds each or something. So I think that would take up a lot less space in the house. So maybe I should get those instead, but I think they're expensive. Um, but yeah, I have some three pound weights. So I think I will probably use those to go power walking or something. I don't know. What do you even do with three pound weights? I will probably, I guess you could do cardio with them, but I don't want to do anything that involves like lifting them up over my head. Cause I can just do like, boop, boop. like I can do things like that. But so maybe I will take them on walks with Chewy and like walk with the three pound weights and be like, walk, 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 like do something like that. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Um, let's see. Good morning, Marsha. Good morning, Abby. Um, who else have I not said hi to? Kristen. Good morning, Kristen. Um, hello, Christine. Yes, I can feel cringe. I would, I would, it's cringe. Let me see if I'm defining this correctly. Cringe is like when you watch someone else do something awkward. Okay, wait, maybe I can't feel cringe. Hold on. When I say that something is cringe, as usually that someone else has done something stupid, but I usually find it funny more than I more than it pains me. Does that make me like a really mean person? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um I agree with Kristen. The fact that I don't feel shame makes me well suited to being on YouTube. Yeah. Because that's the thing is like a lot, like I, yeah, when you get you, a lot, everyone on YouTube is going to get negative comments. Sometimes everyone's going to have people thinking that what they said was stupid or wrong. And like, I'm just out here wanting to talk about stuff. So like, yeah, maybe that does make me well suited for YouTube because people can disagree with me and I'm just like, okay, let's talk about it. Paige the Puppet says, Mama didn't drive till she was 35. Well, that's good to know because I also don't drive and I'm going to be 30 this year. <laughs> um, I did have a driver's license in the past. I just let it expire because I don't have a car and I don't have any need to drive anywhere. And I did try to renew it just in case I need it. But the DMV was being terrible to me that week. And I spent like so many hours at the DMV that I was like, fuck it. I'm just not going to drive. Uh, and that was like five, six years ago. Oh, I need to clear my browser cookies. Okay. Oh, is that that's gonna log me out of everything though? Oh, sorry guys, I'm I'm savvy, but I'm not tech savvy, guys. If I clear my browser cookies, is it gonna log me out of everything? Because in the past, when I've cleared, or maybe that's clearing your history. I don't know. I've cleared things in the past, and it logs me out of everything, and I don't want to be logged out of everything. Oh, I gotta clear my cache. Okay, 
Uh, guys, confirm for me that that's not going to log me out of everything, and then I'll do that. Tony, show you's here, first of all. What's up, show you? Tony Robbins' book costs more than 18 stinking dollars. It does? How could it possibly? Who would pay more than $18 for a Tony Robbins book? I paid for a Tony Robbins book once, and it was because it was from a used bookstore. Uh, and I, so I was supporting the used bookstore and not Tony. And uh, I didn't even finish reading it because it was so boring. <laughs> and then I sent it to someone in a giveaway. If you're the person I sent it to in a giveaway, I think it might have been my Linda. I don't know why. I think it maybe was her. Maybe it wasn't. It was someone who said their husband likes Tony Robbins. Good morning, cross country friends. You, um, Cher would like a week on Anna. Okay, I'll talk to RK about it. We'll see if uh, if we can make that happen. Maybe in April. Oh, my mom bought two mugs. That's so nice, mom. Mayomi, good. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Oh, this Sunday's daylight savings. Good to know. Thanks, guys. What's up, Co Steps? Good to see you. Um, yeah, Co Steps, same. Secret Power Femininity. Uh, she says, I already got married, so I can't use this book to its fullest potential to gold dig. Yeah, this, this book is very much, it's all about how to find a husband. And then the last couple chapters is about how to plan your wedding. And so the how to plan your wedding stuff is going to be in part two, because I, I didn't get to it with how much that I have so much to say about how to plan your wedding section because apparently my wedding was just the worst wedding of all time according to this book. When I have it on, I I, I have I haven't known that everyone quite enjoyed that wedding and everyone talks to me all the time still about how much they love my wedding and also my mom who's in the chat planned my wedding because she's a she's a wedding planner so she planned my wedding and uh, she did a fantastic job and it was so much fun and everyone loved it. But apparently because I didn't use the British spelling of things on the invitations and I didn't send the invitations to each person's full legal name with Mr. or Ms. in front of each thing. Like there's like all these outdated customs that I didn't do, which makes my wedding suck apparently. And also because I didn't have a Mormon church ceremony. Um, and also because I didn't get a physical before my wedding. It says that women need to get physicals before um, three weeks before their wedding. Why? I don't know. It never says why. It just says get a physical three weeks before your wedding. Why? <laughs> to make sure that you didn't suddenly develop an illness <laughs> that you didn't have at your last physical? <laughs> okay. Uh... Let's see. Uh, I want to make sure I've said hello to everyone. Do, do, do. Yeah, I want those dumbbells too, the adjustable ones. Yeah, they look pretty great. Let me make sure I've said hi. Liza Lou is here. What's up? Good to see you. Good morning. Um, oh, cringe literally hurts some people. Okay, because I would go on, like, the cringe subreddit to watch videos of people acting stupid. And, like, it doesn't hurt me. I find it amusing. But it's, I guess, because it's, like, I would find myself in that situation funny, too. You know? Like, because I don't feel shame. <laughs> I don't know. DMV so bad it stops you from driving. Literally, that was the, uh, that was... Um, uh, cash won't clear my passwords. Okay. Okay. So I need to clear the cash guys. Let's see how to do this in just a second. Uh, you know, yeah, it's important that I do clear the cash because one of the reasons I'm doing this on a new account and not my main account is that I want this, uh, or maybe I could go into Firefox or something instead of Chrome. Do I have Firefox? I don't know. I'll have to check on that. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing this in a new account is that I don't want it to be biased based on what I've searched for and purchased in the past. I want to see like what the actual comp titles are going to come up as on a completely new account that hasn't had anything else in it. My wedding was amazing, Kayla. I had a great wedding. Well, we had a great time. We, uh, we had a, we had like a whole, uh, Chicago foods. We had a Chicago foods, uh, like stations. So there was one like Polish Chicago station where we had a pierogi bar and uh that was amazing and then there was one station where we had deep dish pizza and that was amazing we had one station where we had chicago hot dogs 
Um, and then in addition to that, we had a station for like, um, like fajitas and things like that, just because Tyler and I love fajitas. So we had all those things. And then wedding cakes are really expensive. So what we got instead was wedding donuts, because we both love donuts. And so um, my mom got us these donuts from a local business, and they put our names on the donuts. So there were some Savvy Donuts and some Tyler Donuts, except uh, when they put them out for the wedding, I guess the, all the Tyler Donuts were on top. So it was all Tyler Donuts out at the wedding and then all the Savvy Donuts were left over. So we ate Savvy Donuts for weeks afterwards. It was very funny. And then Tyler and I made little, like, because we wanted to have like a cake topper, but we didn't really have a cake. So we uh, made little Lego people of ourselves. And my mom built this replica of the Chicago Hancock building. And then we put the the two Lego people of ourselves on top of the Hancock building. I should show pictures. It was a very fun wedding, even though mommy Maureen would say that the wedding was very unprofessional and not feminine enough. And all these kinds of like, she would say all of that. She would judge me for my wedding, but my wedding was beautiful and I had a great time. So no one can say shit about my wedding. Uh, the wedding stuff is funny. Yeah. The, what Maureen says about weddings, it's kind of hilarious. Um, good morning, paranoid. Um, Kate says the physical before the wedding is a Mormon. Th oh, is it to make sure <laughs> I just got this? Okay. So it's the idea that like, because neither of you were allowed to have sex before marriage, <laughs> sex before. So it's assumed that neither of you have ever had any sexual relations before. And it needs to make, they need to make sure that your body is in like peak physical condition to get pounded on wedding night. Is that what it's about? <laughs> is that what it's for? Is it to make sure, is it like checking all of that? I don't know. Good morning, Bonnie. Good to see you. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I do like that I don't feel embarrassment because, well, here's the thing. For a while, I like, I just didn't understand a lot of things because I was like, wait, why am I not supposed to do this? Why do people not like this? What? It just like didn't make logical sense to me. Um, Kayla, no. 100% no. False. The bi That's the most false statement I've ever, I'm not going to read it out loud, but it's the most false statement I've ever seen in my life. That is, no, incorrect. Um, oh, according to the donuts... <laughs> The donuts had me wrong. <laughs> this is funny. Um, yeah, but my mom did a great job on the wedding. Um, oh, wait, is it checking? Wait, are they like going to check her hymen at the physical? But what if she broke it with a tampon? What if she, what if she just sucked a million dicks and did a ton of anal? <laughs> is that why people talk about the poop hole loophole? Because they can't catch you? So that way you, you can, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This girl, imagine like this girl going to the physical and they're like, yep, you're still a virgin. Meanwhile, she sucked like 35 dicks in a row, like in clerks. <laughs> imagine that. I, actually, to be fair, I'm sure that's what a lot of people do. Um, wait, oh, they can't have a wedding if it, but what if she, wait, do they... <sighs> Guys, this is going to make me sound really ignorant. I wasn't around in the 60s. Did people just not use tampons in the 60s? Because you can break it with the tampon. You can break it riding a bike. So, like... Is that really what the physical's for? Oh, my God. I might, I might be... I'll need to make sure I can... Uh, that's good to know. Because in my notes, I just have physical three weeks before. Why? Yeah, Kayla broke it learning to ride a bike. Because if you fall on the bike, it, it's... Yeah, exactly. Wait, oh, Mormons are not allowed to use tampons? Is that real? What? I need to learn more about Mormons. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is crazy, you guys. <laughs> um... Oh, you're right, Co Steps. I do remember seeing that, like, in the 60s. They had, I've seen that before. Like, they had, like, pads with straps. You would, like, strap. What? That's so uncomfortable. To be fair, I didn't use tampons until I was 23 because I had some health issues that made it difficult. Um, 
but now I would never do anything except use tampons because they're so easy. Um, Mormon magic underwear. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I've got to look all of this up before I film part two of this review, because this is, this is wild. You guys, I don't want to seem like I'm being judgmental of the Mormon faith, because here's the thing. If you're Mormon and you're a good person and you don't push it, your religious beliefs on other people, great. Have a good time. We'd probably be friends. It's awesome. But I do think this shit's a little ridiculous. Oh my God. We need a history of tampons episode. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. All right. Uh, it's a half hour in, which means it's time to get to the main topic. I need to clear my browser. How, how do I clear the cookies or like the let's see clear i need to clear the is that under history no okay hold up i gotta google this you guys i didn't realize this was going to be so difficult clear cache uh control shift delete oh it's okay here we go control shift delete there we go um if i clear browsing data is that going to log me out of everything Um, oh, no, because I'm not clearing passwords. I'm only clearing, I'm clearing browsing history, download history, cookies and other site data, cache images and files. I'm going to delete it for all time to make this as accurate as possible. Clearing data, clearing data, this is going to fuck up. Well, no, actually, this might be good for my YouTube recommended because after I research a topic, my YouTube recommended gets filled with it. So maybe now I'll get things that I'm actually subscribed to recommended to me. That'd be better. Um, okay. Nuka Cherry says this show is a blast. Thank you for being here every weekday. You're so welcome. Um, okay. I'm clearing the cache. Once the cache is cleared, we're going to go into Amazon and figure all of this out. Um, do, 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 do. clearing the cache. This is taking forever. I agree with Sean here. He says, sociologically, it's fascinating since Mormonism is recent in when it started. Yeah, compared to most re most religions have been around for hundreds to thousands of years, right? Mormonism started, when, in the 19th century? So it's, what, like 200 years old, maybe? Maybe not even that. Yeah, it's pretty recent in terms of, in terms of religions. So it is kind of interesting. Um... <laughs> So, sorry guys that this is taking a while. I didn't realize this. Okay, so I thought here that I would be able to just get started on this because I made us a new Amazon account thinking I'd prepared everything and then I had no idea I was going to do this. Uh, so we'll just keep talking about uh, vaginas. Costep says, I have had IUD or next plan on for the past 12 years, so basically no periods. Is next plan, next plan on, is that the like thing they stick in your arm for birth control? Because that would be great. Um, Mormon Stories is a super fascinating podcast, but it's also long. I'll have to check that out. Um, okay, yeah. Next plan in is the arm one. Uh, yeah, I've had, I've had, I have an IUD right now. Um, and I have for a while, which it's done, like, whenever, when I got my IUD for the first six months, I had the worst cramps. I felt like I was going to die. And then after those six months the cramps kind of calmed down a little bit. And instead I, it's just made my skin better. Like I used to have really bad eczema breakouts on my hands and I don't anymore. And I, when I've talked to doctors about it, they've said that the, the reason I could have been getting eczema breakouts is like hormonal stuff or hormonal like imbalances and things like that. Um, and now I have a hormonal IUD and just like my hands have completely cleared up since I got it. And, uh, that's pretty nice. So my skin's better. That's cool. Um, I do still, I, I got worse periods after getting my IUD, which kind of sucks. They would be like really painful and a lot. I don't know. If, I, not necessarily. No, I don't think more blood. I think less blood, but like just a lot more pain. Um, oh, cross country friends is getting a hysterectomy. No periods ever again. I've considered getting 
getting some kind of permanent thing done just to not risk it. But I don't know. I don't really like, I don't really like having to go in for a full surgery. So maybe I won't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll decide. Um, but yeah, I have a really hard time getting IUDs put in um, because of just like having, just because of the health problems I've had. When they put in this recent recent one, I had to be on Valium for it, um, which made me all kinds of loopy. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah, that's some bad women's anatomy. Sometimes, sometimes there's just men out there that just don't understand women's anatomy at all. They're like, "Why, why do you have your period? Can't you just like stop it?" Like, no, <laughs> what? Or just like weird things like that. Or guys that are like, do girls pee out of their butts? <laughs> I love those kind of things. Yes, girls pee out their butts. Um, so I'm still clearing the browsing data. I want to try to find, here's what I'm trying to do. I want to find comparative, com uh, comparable titles to cancel Sean Boston, search for those, search for the book and see what kind of comes up and see what else it recommends me so that I can then have those as comparable titles. And then I can see what categories everything's in and recategorize based on that and try to identify who's the exact target. Like, cause our target audience is mostly you guys. But I also, if I want to get it beyond that, like I need to make sure that the people have buying habits in common uh, and things like that. Uh, because that's the main thing so far that I've learned from Six Figure Author is the idea that when you launch your book on Amazon, you want it to have comparable titles that are going to be um, that if everybody buys it, like, so if everyone who buys your book on the day you launch it is from your friends and family, the thing they have in common is you. They don't necessarily have age in common, jobs in common, interests in common, genres they like to read in common. So they don't have necessarily similar Amazon browsing habits. And Amazon is, you know, a search engine that they want the end customer to buy their product, right? So if Amazon then doesn't know who to recommend it to. Ooh, I think the, the cash is just about cleared. All right, guys. Uh, oh, Butcher is here. Let us know if next week you want to come on for our 75 hard wrap up. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, and then we are going to get into this Amazon thing. All right, so quick break. Be right back.
Hello, can everyone hear me okay? Am I not visible anymore? What happened? Okay, what happened to my camera? Let me, let's take a look at this, or is this just my internet? Am I back? You guys see me? What is going on? Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's go into this Amazon thing. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the camera. Okay, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Uh, but I'm, I'm back now. I'm back, and we're going to go into Amazon. I cleared all the cookies, or I cleared the cache. All right, I cleared the cache. So let's go on to Amazon and see my... Oh, do I need to fix the mic? Okay, something happened. Does that sound better? Let me know if that sounds better. For some reason, it like switch what camera and microphone I was using and the other camera. So I have my, my uh, webcam that I use for streaming. And then I have my high definition camera I use for filming videos, which isn't turned on right now, but it's still plugged in and it like switched it. Okay. Now I sound better. Okay, great. I have no idea what happened there. It just decided to switch what things were input without me touching it. I don't know what that was. Okay. Okay, good. Glad we're back there. Apologies for that. So we're going on to Amazon right now. So this is our new Amazon on the Your Morning Guru account. Oh, wait, I'm not signed in. Not signed in because it signed me out. Well, that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Luckily, I made the password today, so I remember what it is. Uh, let's stay signed in for now. Angry Hotter, this is hilarious and so true, too. I used to be struck by how cartoonish your boobs were, but now I'm amazed by how much you look like a real person. Me too. I just, like, it's weird to just feel like like a like a correct person before that. Well, that's why I cosplayed as Jessica Rabbit, because I look like her in real life, too. Like, it just looks like her. I was like, what is this? Like, I remember when I first watched Who Framed Roger Rabbit and everyone would talk about how unrealistic she was. I was like, no, that's my body. What are you talking about? Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad that I look more realistically proportioned. I feel that way too. Um, okay. Here we go. So this is, this is Amazon's default page. It looks like deal of the day. We've got this personal stylist. Is that like stitch fix? Amazon ripping off stitch fix. Sounds about right. Um, Here's the sponsored book. I wonder how much you pay to get on Amazon's default front page. So we've got some clothes. We've got some just different categories here. Live shop live streams. Ooh. Exercise workout bands. Phone stuff. Okay. So just a bunch of bunch of stuff they want to promote. Um, let's see. All right. So let's search for, let's go to the book section. Let's just go to books. Shop by department books. And then we want to go, let's go to Kindle book. Let's go to Kindle Unlimited first. Cause our book is available on Kindle Unlimited. And let's see, join Kindle Unlimited start uh mm, okay no this isn't this is difficult kindle can oh it's talking about buying a kindle you have to join it in order to see the books bestsellers maybe no i'm shocked by how annoying amazon's user interface is to work with right now um let's look at kindle books here we go so here's the Kindle bestsellers. Um, oh, yeah, I know that Jessica Rabbit is not an actually realistic body type because she's a cartoon. But, like, in terms of the proportions, I feel like, like, yes, I did not have a four-inch waist, but, like, as much as a human being could have an, a, a disproportional 
chest to waist ratio, I seem to have that. Um, maybe I should have worn a corset for the Jessica Rabbit costume. That would have made it even more intense. I loved that costume. That was fun. That was fun. I got a lot of attention in New Orleans that night. Um, okay, so here's these Kindle books. Okay, now let's take a look at the different categories. Actually, let's start by looking at Cancel Sean Boston. Let me go to, I'm going to search Cancel. All right, here we go. Cancel Sean Boston. There we go. All right, I'm going to look at this book. Cancel Sean Boston. Looking at this book. I'm going to look at it on audiobook. There's the audiobook cover. It's so square. Look at that. Look at that square audiobook cover. If you want to listen to it, you can look at the paperback. Customers who view. Okay, so right now, right now, the thing this book has in common with other purchases is me, according to Amazon, which is not good in terms of getting it wide viewership. Um, so here we go. Cancel. Here's cancel Sean Boston. Customers who viewed this also viewed nineties kids. Okay. What's in common? What does that book have in common there? I wrote them both. And then they also bought savvy business owner. That's the third thing it's written by me and Ponzi nomics, which is the anti MLM book by Robert Fitzpatrick, which I reviewed on my channel. And also, so it seems like people, this seems to be the thread that we're seeing from this. People, most people who bought Cancel Sean Boston found their, their anti-MLM. So they found me through anti-MLM stuff, bought my business book because I talk about anti-MLM topics and they wanted a business book that wouldn't promote MLMs. Then they learned to like me as a writer and bought 90s kids and then joined watching this show and bought cancel Sean Boston. That seems to be the pipeline that things are being funneled through. Now, what we need to decide is if we're going to embrace that and go hardcore on that, or if we want to try to sell more so according to what Amazon, Oh, that's, uh, those are my, my exact purchases. Yes. Yes. That's a, um, Paige, the puppet asks if I've shopped it to review. Do you mean like sending out arcs like advanced review copies, sending it out to people who might like it to review? I'm wondering if we might want to put it on NetGalley or something. But net, no, NetGalley's for books that aren't out yet. Maybe we'll do that with Cancel Lee Shiloh. We'll put it on NetGalley. But also NetGalley is expensive. So I don't know if I want to spend marketing money like that. Um, so this seems to be what the book by go going from a new Amazon account that has never had anything viewed or bought on it before and looking at an Amazon account uh, where the cash has been cleared. So there's no history to this whatsoever. This book was bought from the pipeline of people who like me on YouTube because that's it's not, if it were just people who just like me as an author, maybe from Chicago author events or whatever, Ponzi nomics would not be in here. But Ponzi nomics is, is what I, anti MLM stuff is what I talk about on YouTube as well. So it's people who would find anti MLM stuff on YouTube who like me on YouTube as a result and then became a fan of me and bought this book. So according to what Chris Fox talks about, that it's good for making some sales, but it's not good for long term. The reason being that Amazon is not going to know who to promote it to because people who like me, like these books have outside of what I just talked about, these books actually have nothing in common. Um, this is me writing a silly business nonfiction self-help book about the process of starting a business and what I did. This book is decades of research about why MLMs are not sustainable business models. And this is a young adult novel about time travel. 
these books actually have nothing in common and they also have nothing in common with this book other than me, right? So that's the problem because if they have nothing in common with this book, this book is not being promoted to an audience of people who would primarily like the content of the book. It, Cause it, yes, it's being promoted to people who it, to an extent it makes sense. It's being promoted to people who like me because my sense of humor comes through in this book. So yes, those people would like this book, which is you guys. However, outside of the viewership on this channel, the viewership on my channel, things like that, this book isn't really selling to many people. You can see right here, it only has 13 ratings, um, which is pretty low. And again, that's, that means a lot more people have read it than that, right? And most people who read a book don't review it. But when the more reviews you get, the more Amazon's going to promote it. The more uh, reviews you get, the more people have read it because that's only a very small percentage of the people who have read the book. So once you're getting hundreds or even thousands of reviews, that's a sign that like a ton of people are reading it because that's a small percentage of the full readership. So the algorithm doesn't like this book, which makes sense because it's not going to get like Amazon wants to make the most sales possible so that they can make the most money possible. So it's uh, it doesn't know who to sell it to. It, it doesn't know who to promote it to. People who like what kinds of things do I promote it to? I am not, me as something in common is not something that Amazon can promote. I'm not a product. I'm the creator of the product. It needs to have products that are similar, that similar people will like. And as a result, this book is likely not being promoted well on the Amazon algorithm, which is why I need to fix that. Um... Or, yeah, or, or Louisa says it could be people who like me on YouTube bought Ponzi Nomics because I talked about it. That's possible, too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, yeah, exactly as Angry Otter says, the algorithm is not happy right now. Yeah, also, our case books aren't on there. I want to, you know what, I'm going to open an incognito tab to search for our case books on Amazon because I don't want it to mess with this. Can I share incognito windows on here? Am I allowed to? Yeah, it looks like I can. Okay. Um, Amazon RK Gold. Um, so there's our case books we're looking at on Amazon. Um, Also, why is Cancel Sean Boston not under his books? I guess because my name is listed first, so maybe it just tied it to my account. I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, and it seems like... So most of his books came out a few years ago. The only one that came out within the past couple of years was Father in the Forest, which is great. Highly recommend everyone read it. Um, but I'm guessing it's because his books have all came out he was putting out a lot more books back in 2017 and 2018. Um, and a lot of them are more in the fantasy era or fantasy area. And in with cancel Sean Boston, it's, I guess, no, I wouldn't say it's because the other books that people mostly like, if we look at these, these mostly came out in those years, right? And then if we go back to looking at Cancel Sean Boston, which came out in late 2021, other than Cancel, other like other than like, yeah, other than my uh, children's books, these two are the most recent. So my other books like One Final Vinyl and Sculpt Yourself and Beauty King and all of those are not listed here because people didn't buy those. They bought those a long time ago. Because books usually get a big surge when they come out and the sales uh, kind of plateau a little bit over time. So th these were the ones getting the most sales at the time. Um, so that's what I'm gathering here. So now I'm going to try to figure out on this account what I'm going to search for some things in here that'll be uh, what I think will be similar. So when I try to pinpoint what this book is, people who would like this book, it's a romantic comedy, but we talked yesterday about how romantic comedies often are more so comedic romances, if that makes sense. This book is, the genre is primarily comedy. It is not, so I don't think 
people who read a lot of romance would like this book. And we talk about like, people talk about a lot like on Twitter, book Twitter and stuff about like romance landia and all of that. Like the romance reader community has specific things that the majority of them enjoy, such as there's a lot of tropes within it. There's a lot of specific tones within it. This book, I don't think would fit that. It follows some of the tropes. The biggest trope in romance is happily ever after. And spoiler, yes, Rick and Lindsay do end up together at the end of this book. However, will they be happily ever after? I don't know, because there's going to be sequels and we're making these books get weirder and weirder as time goes on. So who knows? And I also kind of want Lindsay to end up with Sean Boston at the end of the series. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not yet, because we haven't decided. I just think they're both such attention whores that it would work well. <laughs> um, but... Uh, Okay, so let's look for, in the books category, I'm going to search for internet humor and see what happens. Frog and Toad are two, oh, that's a sponsored one, okay. Uh, that's another sponsored one. So let's look at, so we've got, oh, these are notebooks. Okay, these aren't even books. I mean, they're books, but they're notebooks. They're not like books with content in them. Um, uh, oh, sorry, Jean. So what happens is, I think I'm the only one that can post links in the chat. I don't fully know how this works, but I think when you're live, you can't post links in, like, I can post links in the chat because I'm running the stream, but viewers can't post links in the chat. Or maybe mods can post links in the chat. I don't actually, I don't know how it works. So I'm sorry that you can't post links in the chat. Um, but I think that's just the thing that like viewers, it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why. I wish I knew. Um, so if I search for internet humor, it looks like it's mostly notebooks so far. Okay, this category has no consistency. no consistency whatsoever okay fuck off chloe that one sounds this one sounds kind of good this sounds like maybe this will be the first one but it also isn't that it it, it oh March. okay it came out just this year so i was like it only has 19 reviews however just came out so that's fine so i'm gonna look at that one in just a moment and then let's look at this one actually right now and see where else it's categorized. This one might be the first one that looks actually kind of similar. This looks like it is, it doesn't look like fiction. It looks like it is a memoir perhaps. Okay, internet and social media humor is a category. Let's look at internet and social media humor books category. This is where what we looked at earlier for Cancel Sean Boston, but I couldn't find it. Here, I'm going to pull up KDP in a second. I couldn't find it, although I don't know if I can be logged in here and logged into my account on KDP at the same time. Um, yeah, Angry Outer, I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, people can't post uh links because yeah in live chats because then people would just like spam promotional things constantly i guess that's why they don't let you do it okay now let me if i'm gonna look at internet and social media humor let's look at um now these look more like traditional romances but they say they're romantic comedies so and they're the only like fictional looking ones on here that aren't just she memes well. That's funny. Maybe I'll look at that. Um, and then I'm wondering, like, YouTube. So Odd Ones Out is an animated YouTube channel. And now I'm like, okay, so do I want to just, like, promote this as, like, YouTuber books? But no, I don't. Because that's what it's doing so far. So these are mostly, like, YouTuber books in here and nonfiction. Guys, I think... I'm wondering if our book is just kind of unique. That's what I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> Which I don't know how to I don't know how to market that. 
that's a thing. There really aren't any books that I can think of that are internet drama is the main plot. And maybe that's because internet drama being a main plot is still a fairly new phenomenon in the real world too, right? So I'm wondering, I want to lean into that, to that, like, this book is unique, in, in, but I don't know what genre to categorize it in. And the other thing is, if we put it in internet parody, it's going to be, parody is more like, like that, yeah, the frog and toad type of book, like, this is a parody. So I don't think people who are looking for parodies would like it. Um, all right, maybe I'll look for a book that's like just comedy and see what comes of that too. I will look at this plus one packed. Let's look at this. Maybe we need to do this kind of shit. I forgot to do this. This is the thing people do. And I am, I have been working on and off on a few romances and I, and when you do something with any romance in it, you want to do like that little subtitle for the algorithm where it'll be like, you list all the tropes, like a polyamorous female, female, male, bisexual enemies to lovers to childhood friends romance or something right like you want to like uh, and with with fake dating tropes you want to throw in all the tropes because people are searching for those um so maybe we can put it in i think it is in romantic comedy right now but we could add a subtitle to it like A romantic comedy about in uh well <laughs> enemies to lovers. <laughs> no, no, there's no enemies to lovers in this. That's not true. Maybe if Lindsay and Sean ever get together, we can make that an enemies to lovers romance. Yeah, I might do the tagline. So how is this how is this an internet romance? Is my question. This plus one packed. It looks like a standard rom com. Um Okay, I might try this shit. Maybe I'll try this and see if it helps. Okay, so we've got that. Um, now, what was I going to look at? I'm just going to, in books, I'm going to search for memes fiction. No, I did not mean men's fiction. How do I get you, how do I get out of men's fiction? Meme goes to the vet. Oh, there's a dog named Meme. Look at that, that's cute. Anyway, it's for kids. Um... Oh, so these, this is characters named meme, a meme of war. No memes escape. Let's look at this. Yeah, Sarah, you're absolutely right. You have to you have to categorize from the mindset of a reader and then tag the shit out of it. So let's let's do that. Let's do that. Hold up. We're gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna sign into my main account. Actually, before I do that, let me go back to the homepage now that I've looked for things and see see what. Amazon recommends me. Killer content. Okay, this looks interesting. Okay. Okay, the death of a waitress goes viral, caught on camera in the background of a couple's flash mob proposal video. So, okay. This is along the lines we're looking at now. Okay, let's see. So the problem here is that this is a mystery. So it's not the same genre. So we can't categorize it the same. But let's look at what also released... It's going to be other murder mysteries mostly. So that's not going to be what we're really looking for. Okay. Okay. 
All right, let's go back to Amazon. Now it's going to try recommending me murder mysteries, which I don't want. Okay. Related to items I viewed, again, two books by me are in related to items I viewed because it's related to Cancel Sean Boston. Yeah, there's Sculpt Yourself. Okay, this is, yeah, the book is not doing well in the algorithm at all. So let me look for Cancel Sean Boston again and see if that, what is, what is all this shit? Okay, whatever. That's what else comes up. So Cancel Sean Boston, I'm going to look at this. I looked at the categories. Let's look at humorous fiction. Maybe romantic comedy is the place to keep it then. I don't know. Um, products related to this item. It's about dads dealing with their pregnant wives. What is that? Okay. Yeah, none of this. What? No, this isn't good. Shout out to everyone who left us a review. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, look, guys, our five star ratings are 69%. Yes. I would say nobody else review it except this week. I'm trying to actually do well in the algorithm, not just do memes. Um, I guess some people were saying satire could be an option. Okay, hold up. We're going into KDP and we're going to take a look. Okay. Everyone who's interested in self-publishing, enjoy the journey with us. I'm going to sign in as Savvy here and then pull up Cancel Sean Boston. Oh, sorry. I didn't see that. Yeah. you. Oh, you can do up to two categories on Amazon. Uh, so I will try. Wait. Oh, this created a new account for me. I have to make a new account. I have to sign into the Savvy account. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Just a moment, y'all. Let me get Cancel Sean Boston up. So I'm going to try that tagline thing just for the ebook because I think people who buy ebooks and people who buy paperbacks have different buying habits. So we're on Cancel Sean Boston on here right now. The title's currently Cancel Sean Boston. Let's give it a subtitle. Cancel Sean Boston. A hilarious internet romance. No, we won't call it a romance. A uh, hilarious, all right, we won't say hilarious, an internet comedy for those who love YouTube drama. We'll call it that. Let's call it that. An internet comedy for those who love YouTube drama. Abby asks, what are my feelings on things like Pitch Wars? I believe they officially stopped Pitch Wars, but I think, oh yeah, I used to do things like that on Twitter. Like I did Pit Mad for a while, like where you go on Twitter and you use the hashtag, whatever the, that day's hashtag is, and there'll be like agents and publishers and editors searching through those Twitter feeds where you put your little pitch up and then if the, they like your tweet, then you're supposed to pitch it to them. I've done that before. I did that with one final vinyl and I actually got a lot of publisher interest in it. I got like a ton of full manuscript requests, but I never got a deal. So I don't know. I think they work for some people and don't work for others. D depends. And it made me spend too much time on Twitter. It made me like spend so much time like doing shit on Twitter and Twitter's a really awful place. Um, oh, Avery. That's awesome. Avery says my friend is looking to self-publish a book. So this is helpful for me to know how so I can help her. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, okay. Um, I don't know if this is a good subtitle. I'll call it an internet comedy for those who love YouTube drama. Um, 
So maybe let's 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 we'll think more about this title as we go through it. Um, okay, here's what we want to take out is Autumn Reads 2021. That's outdated. We'll want to tag something else in there. So right now our tags are internet humor, sexting, internet romance scam, romance scammer, memes, and YouTube drama. Um, you can't we you can't tag the names of people or the um, the titles of other books in here, but you can tag topics that are in it. Um, so if anyone has any suggestion, oh here, how do I choose my keywords? So we got to think about what might people, people who would love this book, people who have been dying for a romantic comedy about YouTube drama, but don't know it yet. What would they be searching for in Amazon? That's what we need to figure out to, for this final tag right here. Um, oh, here, I'm just going to do this. I know it's wrong, but I'm just going to do it. COVID pandemic romance, because that's what it kind of is. Oh, spill the tea. That's a good tag. I like that idea. Do you think someone would search spill the tea in Amazon? Maybe they would. I don't know. They would definitely search it on YouTube. Would they search it in Amazon, though? Okay, then we're going to look back at the categories. So our categories that we put it in are fiction, humorous, and new adult romance. Now let's take a look at what else is available. And then if there's ones that are available that are better than these, we'll remove these. And then in addition to when we set the categories, you'll notice that every book is usually listed in three categories, but you're only allowed to choose two. Amazon is going to put it in the third one based on what, what is selling and what they think it is. Um, Let's see. Okay. Because I'm trying to think, okay, um, when people, yeah, people will definitely search for tea on Amazon, like if they want to buy tea bags or something. Yeah, I'm going to tag some of the tropes and try to put them in the subheading. Um, all right, fiction. Okay, we'll start with fiction. Let's see where there is, there's humorous. Is there... Okay, so humorous doesn't have any categories under it. So we can't we can't go into like satire or anything like that. It makes it difficult to try to so we have we had romance and we tagged it as new adult. What else is there under here? Romantic comedy, which we could also put it in. New adult romance is never is often not tagged as erotica but it's often erotica and our book would be very disappointing to an erotica reader who is looking for hardcore graphic sex scenes we don't have that we have humorous zoom sex scenes that are played for comedy about how silly it is to have sex on zoom um Oh, we could tag it with certain states and cities. That's a good idea, Abby. You know what? I'll add that into the description too, because yeah. Okay. Good idea. Good idea. So I'm going to save these categories for now because I don't think I found any that are better. Um, uh, Rick, an amateur musician, in, or let's say drummer, an amateur drummer in New York. There we go. To sell her work at comic conventions in Chicago. Boom, we're adding cities. Um, those are the main cities it takes place in. Okay. Maybe the name... I'm going to change it. I'm going to take the swearing out. I'm going to say his a-hole grandpa. I don't know if the swearing in the description is making the book harder to find. Um... Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, hold up. I'm going to look on Amazon for COVID romance. I know this is a bad idea, but I'm going to do it because I want to see what happens.
because I want to know if COVID romance is just like considered so problematic, but this kind of is that. So I searched for COVID romance. Oh, <laughs> this fucking meme kissing the coronavirus. Honestly, that book's a stupid fucking meme. I don't mind being uh, put together with that. Love gone viral. <laughs> oh, God. This has to be silly. These all have to be silly, right? Okay. Can co this is I love this uh nonfiction. Can COVID save our marriage? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay, I'm putting COVID romance in there because it kind of is. It talks in the book, COVID is what gets the characters on the internet in the first place. Okay, so we're gonna add, we're gonna change up. Okay, so here we go. An internet comedy for those who love YouTube drama. You know, okay, here, let's try this again. A romantic comedy for those who love YouTube and internet drama. I think the subtitle's gonna help. We'll see. Then our, okay, so here are our keywords. Okay, meme in the subtitle, Starry Night, those who love internet drama and memes. <laughs> a romantic comedy for those who love YouTube. Oh, let's see. I want the word internet in there, but I want don't want it to sound like shit. Who loves a YouTube drama and internet memes. There we go. Okay, hold up. Here we go. I'm going to add this at the top, too. Uh, the coronavirus pandemic has just hit, but they're going viral. Uh, online. <laughs> That's so terrible. I feel like I'm gonna get canceled for how like insensitive of a title that is, but like I'm trying to play to the algorithm right now. Um Okay, let's see. I'm going to italicize this. I'll say something before that so it doesn't look like this is actually a book about COVID. Um, yeah, it's true. The book is about people who are getting canceled. So if RK and I get canceled for this book, like it would just kind of, that would just kind of be a selling point, I guess. I wanted to, you know, one thing I wanted to do, which I, I'm, you know what, I might do it after I finish updating this. I might do it on this stream. I want to write an article on Medium that points out everything problematic with our book and pretends I didn't write the article myself. It'll be like, Savvy and Arcade's book, Cancel Sean Boston, everything problematic about it. And it was going to be like, this book uses COVID as a plot device so insensitive this book has so every <laughs> all the lgbtq characters are bad bisexual stereotypes who are big sluts who cheat on each other <laughs> chewie's barking he's like savvy don't do it savvy don't do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it okay hold up um I'm going to do that in just a minute. I'm going to see if that helps. Just with like, I'm just doing this shit for SEO. Let's see if it helps. Oh my God. And then I can do a video reaction, <laughs> do a video reaction to an article I wrote myself. That'd be hilarious. That'd be like the most attention seeking behavior of all time, but it kind of fits with this book, which is about attention seeking behavior. Um, do you love drama? Do you secretly watch T videos and laugh at...
but Rick, Lindsay, and Sean are going viral online. Let's try that. Do you love drama? Or do you, yeah, let's say, do you love internet drama? Do you secretly, I'm copying Starry Night here, citing my source in this stream. <laughs> I'll say, do you watch YouTube T videos? Then this book is, then this book is for you. Oops, there we go. Here we go. Are you secretly a little problematic? Let's make this sound as like uh, risque as possible. There we go. Do you love internet? <laughs> Oh, I still need to make the book trailer. Kayla, this reminded me. Kayla says, make yourself a fake book tube draw. Okay, this reminds me I need to make the book trailer. The book trailer we had planned was going to be, we were going to get different book tubers to do that scene from Mean Girls, like with Regina George, where like Regina George did this, but they were going to be like, Sean Boston did this to me. We were going to do that. Um, maybe, guys, this is such a good idea. Okay, wait, hold up. I'm going to do this with my Drag King Dave account. <laughs> I didn't make the Drag King Dave account yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to make an account for my male drag persona, which is going to be named Dave. And I need to get a, I need to get a beard for that. And if I, maybe I'll buy a beard on Amazon, but not under the Your Morning Guru account, because that's going to ruin the search results. Um, okay, so this is what we've got now. Do you, okay, so now the book is titled Cancel Sean Boston, a romantic comedy for those who love YouTube drama and internet memes. That now it says, do you love internet drama? Do you watch YouTube T videos? Are you secretly a little problematic? Then this book is for you. The coronavirus pandemic has just hit, but Rick, Lindsay, and Sean are going viral online. And then I put the cities in the in the description. Okay. Okay, guys. All right, hold up. I'm gonna save this and then we are gonna write a bad review of this book on Medium. See if that helps. This is not what Chris Fox suggested <laughs> is to create drama for yourself. <laughs> okay, wait. And then I just, hold on. I need to just uh, continue everything. I didn't buy an ISBN for the ebook. All right. Okay, it could, it's Amazon says it could take up to 72 hours for my changes to be live. So this is just for, okay, I did this just for the ebook. The paperback I left the same and the audiobook I left the same. If we notice a big increase in ebook sales from this, then I will add that to those as well. I want to have a control group though. However, it's not a direct control group because I know that ebook readers who just buy a ton of shit for their Kindle they are searching more for like those long title search terms and things like that. So I don't know for sure what's going to happen. We're going to have to wait and find out. Um, let me look at how my sales are doing right now. I'm going to look at cancel Sean Boston. Do, 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 do. Okay. Cancel Sean Boston is getting Kindle unlimited page reads, which is good. And as of this month, it has sold the exact same number of books on paperback and on Kindle. I can't see audiobook orders through here. I have to go on ACX for that. Um, and then let's look at the last 90 days of Cancel Sean Boston and see how it's doing. So Cancel Sean Boston sells like a book a day. Which is not awful, but it's not good. <laughs> it's uh, it's better than a book that's not selling at all anymore, which is what some books are. And some of my, like, Beauty King doesn't sell at all anymore, really. Which I'm okay with because it's not that good of a book. Um, but 
I want to be selling, I want to sell at least, let's see if I can just double from this. Let's see if we can sell two books a day, like two, whether that's an ebook and a paperback or whatever, this book is looking like it's selling about one book a day. Um, Kayla says, can you, can I please do a study if you start drama for yourself? I always wanted to study the impacts of it. Yeah, of course. That sounds great. Cena says, can you imagine to clip in videos of us viewers a snippet like he ruined my marriage or my dog? Okay, guys, let's do this actually. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'll post about this in Reddit and Discord too. Um, send me a video clip of you saying something that Sean Boston did to you. Uh, don't make it, don't make it too extreme though. Don't say that he like murdered your family and chopped them up. Don't say that he did anything SA related. Like don't say anything that extreme because I do want to put this on YouTube and not have it get demonetized or have it get like hidden or anything. But say, I don't know, Sean Boston, Sean Boston, my wife cheated on me with Sean Boston or like Sean Boston came to my party in high school and he completely, he vomited in my mom's plant. Like, I don't know, just like come up with something ridiculous that Sean Boston did and say it to the camera and then send it to me and I'll compile it into a video. Send it here. I'm going to give everyone my email address and I'm typing it in the chat. Um, boop, 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 do, 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 do. Oh, it's not letting me type my email address in the chat. I don't know why that is. Let me put it on a banner. Or you know what? Don't copy and paste it. Here we go. I'm going to put spaces in between everything. Oh, it's still not letting me do it. Jeez. It's not letting me send like any messages. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let me put it on a banner then. Hold on. It's really not letting me do it. Okay. I don't know. It's savvylizer at gmail.com. That's, hold up. I'll show you how the name is spelled if you need spelling. Or maybe my stream yard's just getting weird. Okay. Savvylizer. You see how on the screen right now it says at Savvylizer? That's Savvy with one V, Lizer with an E I. That's how you spell Savvylizer. Like it looks on the screen. And then that's that, but at gmail.com. That's my email address. I don't know why it wouldn't let me type it in the chat. Um, but hey, AJC, what's up? Um, Sean turned me straight. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So guys record a video that's like, I don't know, 30 seconds or less send it there to me and then I will put them all in a video and it'll be, uh, if you're recording it on your phone, try to make sure your phone, some phones are set to 60 FPS. Eh, don't worry about settings too much. I want to make this as easy as possible. Whatever it's set, just send it to me. <laughs> just send it to me. Uh, okay. Um, I even tried typing out my name here. Let me see. Let me see if I can do this again. It won't even let me, can I type anything right now? Or is it just, oh, it's just not letting me type anything. I think my internet's just not connecting well. It's not letting me type anything at all. Um, Sarah says, can I say he used me as a coat rack normal for me as a wheelchair user? Oof, that's terrible. But yes, you can say that if you want. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes, I've heard that. Lizer means quieter in German, which is hilarious because I'm not quiet or German. <laughs> I might change my last name at some point. I might change it back to my mom's maiden name, but I don't want to hurt my dad's feelings. But I just want to have, I want to, I'm Polish and I want my last name to be Polish. Um, so, you know what? Dave, Dave, the drag king is going to have my mom's maiden name as his last name. I've decided that. Um, anyway, that's, um, that's my email address. I hope everyone understands what my email address is, even though it won't let me put it on the screen. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's my email address. Email me a clip of you saying what Sean Boston did to you. And <laughs> then I will put it into a, a, a compilation and make it uh, like a book trailer. And I'll put it up on YouTube. I'll put it on this channel. I'll put it on this channel right here. 
Uh, oh, you know a few Polish people with the last name Liza? That's good to know. That's good to know. Um, cool. Uh, so anyway, um, I am... I'm going to wrap up the stream for today because I think we made a lot. I, I like what we can do weeks on the stream where I we can do like productive things during the stream because like I want to actively try out what this guru is telling me to do live. So yesterday I sent out an email. Oh, you know what? Let's before we go, let's check on MailChimp. Let's check on how my email is doing that I sent out yesterday. I'm going to log in. We're going to take a look at the analytics. Let's take a look. I want to make sure. Oh, did I? Oof. The security question. Oh, never mind. I thought it said it was asking for one of my maternal relatives, and I couldn't remember if I put their name in English or Polish. And I was like, oh, no. Um, but no, my... Okay, paternal relatives are all just in English. We're good. Okay. Um, all right, we're going to take a look at how this did. I'm making sure I'm trying not to share anyone's emails. I don't want to dox anyone on this. Um, boop, 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 boop. Chilla says, can you shout out the Habitica banner poll real quick? It's not doing so hot. Oh, there's a poll on Habitica. Hold up. Let me log in. So yeah, everyone, some people, oh, my character, my character went, well, what happened? What happened to my character? Yeah, I don't know, guys. My Habitica account seems to have reset. I don't know what happened. Maybe I logged in with the wrong thing. Oh, you know what? I think I logged in with the wrong thing. Sorry, guys. I'm so bad at this shit. Okay, hold on. Habitica. I'm gonna... Okay. Stop! I want to get out of here. I'm gonna... I want to... No, stop. Stop with your pop-ups. I want to log out. Okay. I think that I logged in with the wrong thing. Is this it? It logged me out, so I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm sorry. Um, so now I have, there's a second account under my email address that I didn't even know about. All right, let's look at Habitica real quick. And then I'm going to go back to the email thing. What did I do today? I did nothing today. Start my new day. Okay, so where's the poll? Okay, you need to stop making me pop-ups because it's making me not want to use your app. Okay. Um, so this is my person. There's a poll in the Discord. Okay, let me look at, let me pull up the Discord. Oh, it logged me out of everything because... God damn it! I thought it wasn't going to log me out of shit when I cleared the cache. But I'm logged out of everything. God damn it, what the fuck is my Discord? Oh no, I don't know what my Discord password is. Guys, we can't do this right now. I'm sorry. I don't... I, I log myself out of everything. Uh, Chilla, feel free to repost it in Discord. Feel free to tag everyone if you want. That's fine. Um, yeah, send it in Discord again. I don't know what I'm logged out of everything right now. Anyway, let's look at MailChimp. Um, so this is how this campaign has done since yesterday. Um, so when I when Cancel Sean Boston went out, I had 108 opens and 11 clicks. When the Forever Home Friends fourth birthday one went out, I had 81 opens and three clicks, and which makes sense that the click percentage is lower because that was about the Forever Home Friends, and this is not the primary Forever Home Friends newsletter. This is the newsletter for me in general. So the people who are specifically interested in that would be opening it on the other account. 
90s kids release. Ooh, that had a very high click percentage. See, like this had this one had 11 clicks with 108 opens. This one only had 77 opens, but 19 clicks. And since this was nine months ago, I assume it had lower clicks because I had a smaller audience at that point. I had a customer survey at one point. It got a lot of clicks for the customer survey because it's very easy to uh, take a survey. Uh, that one, that one got clicks. Okay. No clicks on books are restocked. Okay. So let's look at this one and see how the clicks are doing. So far, so good, it looks like. 10 clicks in the first day is not bad. Let's look at, let's view report and see who's clicking it. Um, three bounced. Okay, so it looks like uh, some people's emails on this list are out of date. That's okay. Um, I'm going to pull down the screen for now because it might show me the email addresses of people who clicked and I don't want to dox anyone. So best practices met. I did not reach the skimmability practice. Okay, top links clicked. So the mo majority, okay, this isn't showing me, this is not showing me anyone's email address. So we're good. Let's look at the links clicked based on this. So six of 10 people clicked on SavvyWritesBooks.com, which is good because that's where I linked the merch that I was promoting. And uh, looks like two people clicked to look at Cancel Sean Boston on Amazon and two people click directly to the merch store, which is good. And one person clicked to Instagram. I don't even remember linking Instagram. Oh, it was probably at the bottom of the page. I linked my Instagram or something. So let's take a look at how to improve these according to MailChimp. So what is skimmability? Avoid using large words and long sentences. Oh, okay, because people, I guess that's a good point. When people open up emails, they wanna just skim them real quick. They don't want to necessarily read something long and in-depth they want to skim real quick okay and try to use 25 words or fewer per sentence um so it was a little too long it looks like and then i in order to learn about more things i have to get to a paid account and i don't want a paid account in mailchimp because i haven't needed one so far um and then let me unshare to make sure it doesn't show anyone's emails um 24 hour performance. Okay, so it's still performing now, although not as good as it was when it first went out. The US had the most clicks on it. Um, okay. Let's look at click performance. I don't want to show anyone's email address. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So it looks like that email is doing well. I don't want to send another email anytime soon. I want to wait at least a, probably a week or so. I don't, because if I send out too many emails, people are going to get annoyed and not read them and unsubscribe. Um, so we're going to keep going with the email newsletter for the future. Cancel Sean Boston has been, hopefully it, it could take up to Let's look at it on Kindle because it could take up to 72 hours to update it. Yeah, it's not updated here yet. But we will look back at it tomorrow and see if it's been updated as we wrap up this week. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. I'm going to try to figure out how to log back into Discord and then I'm going to walk Chewy and do all that good stuff and finish editing the big video for tomorrow. So uh, see you guys tomorrow to go over everything with uh, Chris Fox, what I learned from this week. I'm going to try to finish his audiobooks today that I've been listening to and see what more I can do on Amazon to increase those sales. So I will see you guys then. Keep on supporting small businesses. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay sane, stay sexy. Have a good Thursday. Bye. Oh my God, guys, I can't end the broadcast. Here's what happened. This is what's funny. Okay, this is funny as shit. This is why I couldn't post comments when I cleared the cache and logged me out of StreamYard. So I can't end the stream. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta log into StreamYard now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I hate this. I hate this. Okay, I gotta log in. And is my email logged in? I can't. Do I have to log back into my email? Oh no. 
Okay, let's go to Gmail. I told it not to log me out of everything, and it did. God damn it. Okay, I'm not logged out of... I'm not logged out of Gmail. So I have the code. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta log back into StreamYard. Ah, now I'm logged in. I love to see it. I'm stuck! <laughs> okay, anyway, now I can type my email address here. Can I type my Yes! There's my email address! <laughs> there it is! There's my email address. Use that to email me your 30 seconds or less clip of cancel Sean boss of Sean. Why you want to cancel Sean? What did Sean do to you? Oh my God. Okay. Now we're ending the stream. Bye.